you've been out there knocking on your door for days. You got a package? Mm -mm. No, can't handle any more stuff. Oh, I'm not opening it. Honey, you are a mess. Yeah. And we've been trying to call you like a hundred times. What, is your phone off or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gabe, 78 missed calls and one voicemail. Mm -hmm. Jane. Mm -hmm. I look for the next four weeks. No phone, no cell service. Gotta talk fast. Bummer about your career circling the toilet, but that's showbiz. You're going to be getting some interesting news soon. Just try to go with the flow. I've arranged everything, so watch for the box. Things aren't always what they seem. Be strong. Family first, dear. Family f mm -hmm. <sighs> Okay, here it goes. Shoes. Oh. Or shoe. Mm -hmm. And a key and a letter. Okay, this can't be me. I'm not even expecting this. No, this, this is your name and your address. It's for you. Mm -hmm. Read the letter. Mm -hmm. Let's see. As sole heir, <laughs> as sole heir on your 21st birthday, you will inherit the family business. Blah, 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 blah. Enclose or directions to the starstruck talent agency. Oh my god, you have family in the agency this Girl, you never told me that. Yeah, what gives? What? I didn't even know. I mean, I've heard Auntie Jane's crazy romantic story of my parents' lives, but nothing yeah. about an agency. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that story. Your aunt's crazy. <laughs> Wait, Dish, I love a good story. That is good. <sighs> so, there was once this handsome actor and a beautiful model, and they met at a stage door in London. He was taking a break before returning to the second act to star in the role of Shakespeare Unplugged, and she was looking for a bathroom after a few cosmos and kamikazes <laughs> with the girl. <laughs> It was love at first sight, and uh, what began as a whirlwind romance ended with a spectacular star-studded white wedding. Until four months later, and her body was only fit to model maternity wear. So then a few months later, a baby was born, and they continued on with their usual carefree lives, and the baby was soon forgotten and left to nannies and shop girls. Until a fairy godmother appeared. Fairy godmother? Yeah. <laughs> well, not fairy godmother, but more like my Auntie Jane. <laughs> That's pretty much all I remember. The details after that are pretty fuzzy, but my parents were lost shortly after that in a train wreck when I was five or six. Oh, that's so sad. It's so romantic. That was like 15 years ago, and now I'm finding out my parents own a talent agency, mm. and I'm inheriting it. <laughs> and I know exactly who I'm going to call first. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get it, girl. <clears throat> Hi, Mia. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for never, ever paying any attention to me, listening to me, or barely even speaking to me in the past two years that I've been with you. So, see ya! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Classic. I ah, love it. That was so awesome. Good. <laughs> oh, that felt good. <laughs> really good. Yeah. I own a talent agency. Who needs her? <laughs> I know. I wonder where it is. It might be by the studios. Or maybe those high rises near the hills. What's the address? Let's see. Hmm. 1511 South Main Street, Sweet Gum, Georgia. Sweet Gum. Georgia. Sweet gum, Georgia. <laughs>